Hi, I'm Jack Draper. Shout out to Quality Shot Tennis. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. ATP draw preview and prediction video. And it's for the ATP Miami Open, the Masters 1000 tournament. As you can imagine, it's a stacked, stacked lineup. But two big omissions, Rafa Nadal, Novak Djokovic, both players will not be competing in this tournament. And that's a massive shame, it is. But just like with Indian Wells, we have a very impressive lineup without uh, two of the big three and two of the greatest to ever set foot on a tennis court. And it might also make for a more competitive tournament as well. Carlos Alcaraz, of course, is the reigning champion going into this tournament. And he's just won Indian Wells. So he'll be looking to not only defend his title, but complete the Sunshine Double in one year, which would be even more impressive. Okay, let's get into this then. Carlos Alcaraz has a bye in the first round, and he is fresh off that Indian Wells victory where he comprehensively beat Daniel Medvedev in straight sets. Thank you to everyone that joined that live watch along. And also, if you do want to hear a bit of analysis on that, I did a post-match analysis video on the channel, so go check that out, um, where I break down exactly how he won and how he managed to win so convincingly, and maybe what Medvedev didn't quite do so well as, as he's been doing for the last few weeks, didn't really stick to his guns and revert to the type. But anyway, he's got a bye. Qualifier, lucky loser, will play Bagnus, so we'll go for Bagnus for now as the qualifier, obviously. We're not sure who that's going to be. Andy Murray has Leovich, which is a pretty good first round. He should come through that. Cressy has a bye just. He creeps into the seedings at 30. Alejandro Davidic Fakina has a bye as well. Then we've got Otta versus Nakashima. Now, Nakashima, since winning the next gen finals, probably hasn't played as well as I've expected him to. If I'm being completely honest, I was expecting him to do a lot better after winning the next gen finals and kind of really kickstart his career. It hasn't quite happened for him yet. Oscar Otta is quite dangerous on uh, this surface, which is a little bit quicker than the Indian Well surface as well. Um, but. Nakashima should have too much of an all-round game and just too much in the toolbox for Oscar Otter. But if he serves big Otter, uh, then it could be difficult for Nakashima. But I'm going to go for the American in the end. Hoysler and Ramos Vinolas, we're going to go for Hoysler. Tommy Poole has a bye as does Fritz. Isner to beat Nava, the wild card in my opinion. And Peya, Varillas, I'm going to go for Varillas. He's had some decent results on the clay and I know this isn't the clay and it's not Indian Wells, so it's not a, a super slow hardcore. But I do think he's hit a little bit of good form. So uh, even though it's not the slowest of hardcores, it's still not as quick as the Australian Open, for example. Um, it's still a relatively... It's on the slower side, let's say. Uh, Shapovalov has a bye as a Schwartzman. Edmund and Wu. I think Yi Bing Wu, or Wu Yi Bing, sorry, even. After winning a title earlier this year, Kyle Edmund is using a protected ranking he hasn't been yeah since that injury unfortunately and that is a big injury as well was out for a long time it's a massive shame because he was going deep into slams uh it, it looked like he might be able to not necessarily win one but you know he might be able to make his way into top 20 top 15 maybe um even maybe top 10 but it looks like his career is very much taken a uh a downturn since that injury and it's definitely derailed his career that's for sure uh pedro kachin versus fuksovic will go fuksovic holger rune has a bye as does casper rude Ilya vashka plays a qualifier or lucky loser um we'll go for vashka poprin and ima mm, it's a good matchup poprin big server ima's a counter-punching athletic player likes to get everything back into play um, but Poprin is more about serve, big forehand, wants to try and shorten the points. It's a good good clash of styles. I'm going to go for Poprin to get through just. Vanazan Shop also has a bye, as does RBA. Rusevori Krajinovic, really good matchup here. I'm going to go for Rusevori uh, to win. Um, I just think I've started to see his potential be realized in the last few months. And I'm not saying that he's going to go on and win this tournament, but. I wouldn't be surprised if he wins the first few rounds. Tara Daniel, the wild card, plays Ridenek. Interesting. Mm, let's go Tara Daniel. Zverev and Sinner both have buys. Zher to beat the lucky loser qualifier. Fognini and Lestian. Tough one. Lestian playing some 
decent tennis. Fognini, though, I'll pick him to get through with his experience. Dimitrov has a bye, as has Kekmanovic. Ugo Omberg, Gael Monfils, all French affair in the first round. That's a really good matchup, arguably the pick of the first rounds that we've seen so far anyway. It's a tough one because Ugo Omberg is so inconsistent and normally if it's any other surface other than, other than grass, you would pick against him because he's just been so poor on the surfaces for the most part. Gael Monfils, we know how good he is. We know what he's capable of, but um, I, I just think given that he's just come back from uh, you know, well, he's come back from an injury and a layoff. I don't think he's still 100% there yet. So I think Ugo Ombo will come through. Alexander Bublik to play JJ Wolf. I think JJ Wolf will win. I think Bublik has been, his form has been oscillating the last few months. And I know he, he came off uh, and managed to break it, but he'd lost, I think it was like seven first round matches in a row or something ridiculous like that. Um, I just, uh, it's very hard to pick him at the moment. If he hits a little bit of a patch of form, then sometimes he can run with it. But at the moment, it's, it's just not look particularly good. Rublev, her catch, both have buys. Qualified lucky loser versus Burgess. We'll go Bergs. Manorino to beat Zhang, had a really good Indian Wells. Manorino, Shelton and Troich both have buys as well. Shelton, look at that creeping in at 32. Love to see it. Kudla to beat the lucky loser. Barrera to beat the lucky loser. Cab Nori, Alex Dimono have buys as well. Pedro Martinez and Quinton Hallis. Although Quinton Hallis has been in some decent form as well. Galan against McDonald. Galan beating Sitspass in the first round of the US Open last year. McDonald beat Nadal earlier this year as well. Yeah, the Australian Open. Uh, it's a tough one. I'm going to go for Galan. Berrettini has a bye, as has Nishioka. And Molkan plays a qualified lucky loser. We'll go for him. Zapata Morales to beat Carbez Biano. Is that right? Yeah. Go on. Medvedev has a bye, as does Felix. Thiago Montero and Jason Kubler will go Kubla. Manal to be the lucky loser. Sarundalo has a bye, as does Evans. This is actually, so on top of uh, the match that I, that I talked about earlier, I think this is probably, so was that Monfils Umber. I think Sonego versus Dominic team is also a, a pick em because Sonego's actually been playing some really good tennis. This isn't a very easy first round for Dominic team. And I think he's going to struggle in this one. I do. I genuinely do. I would love him to win. I would love him to go through. I just haven't seen enough from him, especially in big moments uh, and clutch moments for, for me to say, you know what? I trust him at the moment. I would trust Sonego more currently. So I want to pick him. Uh, then we will go TFO has a bye as is Hachinov, Ajveri to beat the lucky loser, Yuri Lehechka to beat Korea, Mosetti has a bye as does Baez, Marcus Giron to come through against the qualified lucky loser, same with Richard Gasquet, Sitspaz has a bye. Right, let's get through this because there's going to be some great matchups and we don't want to drag this out longer than it needs to be. Carlos Alcaraz uh, to beat Bagnis, Murray Cressy. Hmm, it's not an easy one for Murray, I have to say. Cressy is just a tricky opponent. Um, the one thing I will say, though, is that Murray, throughout his whole career, has a very good record against people that are big servers. Uh, serve volleyers don't have a huge amount of variety in layers of their game. That is their predominant style. Uh, just because returning-wise, he's so good at returning. His passing shots are fantastic. Uh, and he's athletically... You know, inclined as well. He just has very good athletic ability and also anticipation. So I, I don't see Cressy winning that. I'm going to go Murray. Uh, David Fakina versus Nakashima will go David Fakina. Hoister, Tommy Paul, go Tommy Paul. Fritz Isner. I'm not joking. I, you know, you know what? Isner could beat Fritz. If he has one of those days where he just serves ace after ace after ace, it can become really frustrating. Fritz should have enough, though, at this stage of their careers. Shapovalov to beat Barillas and Will you bing to beat Schwartzman for me? Uh, Fuksovic, Runa. That is a potential upset, to be honest, but we'll go Holger Runa. Rude to beat Ivashka. Uh, Van der Zonshop to beat Poprin. Rusevori to beat RBA. I'm going to go gonna go big there. Zverev to beat Tara Daniel. Sinner to beat Zier. Dimitrov Fognini. Two one-handers going at it. No, sorry, well, 
I'd say Fogny needs a one-hander. One one-hander going at it in Dimitrov. We'll go Dimitrov to win that. Um, Burke at Manovic. I mean, two players that have been in, in good form at times, but not really in the best. I will go Umber. JJ Wolf, Rublev will go Rublev. I think JJ Wolf has got a solid game, but Rublev should have too many weapons for JJ Wolf. Her catch, Bergs will go her catch. Shelton, Manorino. That's a really tough one for Shelton just because Manorino is very awkward. He's also a lefty as well. Um, and just his ball so flat. But we'll go for Shelton. Um, I think his serving might be what really pushes him through that tie. Chorich could let. Chorich has been in some really weird form recently. He just hasn't looked good at all after a really impressive back end to last year, of course. We'll go Chorich to beat Kudler, Nori to beat Barrera, Dimona to beat Halis, Berrettini to beat Galan, Molkan to beat Nishioka, Medvedev to beat Zapata Morales, Felix to beat Kubler, Surundolo to beat Monar, I'm going to go Senego to beat Evans, uh, TFO to get through there, Hachinov, Echeverry, Hachinov, Lehechko and Massetti, this is a really good matchup. It's a next gen matchup. Um, if he was on the clay, I think you have to back Massetti. I, I'm not sold on Massetti on any other surface other than clay right now. So I'm going to go Lehechko. Uh, Baye, Giron. Not an easy match for either. There's going to be a lot of running involved in this one. We'll go Marcus Giron. This pass to beat Gasquet, two one handers. That is two one handers going at it. Right. So, third round. <laughs> Round of 32, Alcaraz Murray. Now, I would love to say Andy Murray, but Alcaraz at the moment is the most informed player on the men's tour. So you have to pick Alcaraz. Uh, I don't think if this was Murray in 2015, 2016, you know, I'd be like, oh, okay, you know what? I reckon he could do it. Um, but at the moment, uh, yeah, I, I just think he's also not playing aggressively enough, in my opinion, for him to actually have a chance of winning that. Um, I know that at times he has been playing more proactively, but. So from the matches I saw at India Wells at times, it's just too much defensive work going on uh, and not enough risk being taken, uh, which just means that he's happy to sit back and uh, defend and defend and defend and defend, and it's just not not sustainable. David Fakina versus Tommy Paul. We'll go Tommy Paul, he's been in good form. Taylor Fritz, Shapovalov, Taylor Fritz. I think too solid right now for Shapo. Uh, Wu Yibing versus Holger Rune. We'll go Holger Rune. Rude to beat Van der Schulp and Zvera to beat Rusevori. We'll go Sinner to beat Dimitrov. Rublev to beat Umber. Shelton Hakach. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna, going to go... It's a tough one for Hakach, but it's also a tough one for Shelton. I'm going to go Hakach. Chorich Nori, I'm going to go Nori. I think it's been too solid nowadays. Uh, Dimona, Berrettini, go Berrettini. Molkan, Medvedev. Medvedev. Felix versus Sarundalo. Felix. Tiafo, Senego. Tiafo. Lechka to be Hachinov. Marcus Sharon sits pass, sits pass. Right. Round of 16. Alcaraz to beat Tommy Paul. Um, I think that would be an entertaining match, but I just think Alcaraz, again, just playing too well, too big a game for Tommy Paul when he's playing like this. Fritz, Holger, Rune, fantastic. We'll get back to that in a second because it's so tough to pick. Uh, Rude Zverev. Rude, of course, made the final in Miami last year. I think Zverev, though, might pick up a pretty big win, and uh, I think it would be a big win, but he, I was for a set and a half against Medvedev, I thought he played some good tennis. And it looks like he's nearish about where he should be. Um, but he's getting there. Sinner Rublev, fantastic matchup. We'll have to go Sinner, given the current form. Her catch Nori. I'm going to go Nori. No, actually, I'm going to go her catch. I'm going to go her catch. Right, of course, has won Miami before as well. Mevidev to be Berrettini. Felix, TFO. Felix, Sitsipas should be Lehechka. Although he just hasn't looked particularly good, has he? Right, right. Taylor Fritz and Holger Rune. Really good matchup. I think Holger Rune could edge it. I do. I think it wouldn't be surprising if Fritz wins in three sets or Holger Rune wins in three sets. I feel like all possibilities for this match are sensible. Like, you can't pick anything silly. Um, any of the options are just... It's just so open, that match. 
Okay. Quarterfinals then. So my quarterfinals, I've gone for Alcaraz and Holger Runa. That would be a fantastic quarterfinal. <sighs> Can I see Holger Runa being Alcaraz now? There hasn't been any question marks around Alcaraz's fitness, despite uh, the, the niggle he picked up, I think it was in Rio in the final, um, or throughout that week. So that's a positive sign. If he's fully fit, he should have too much for Holger Runa as well. He's defending champion. He's playing with the crowd on his side. There's a lot of um, people of Spanish origin or Spanish-speaking people in Miami, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Alexander Zverev, Sinner, really good matchup. I mean, Zverev has had the better of Sinner in the best of five format. Uh, but for the most part, Sinner, though, you know, best of three. And also he's improved. I'm going to go Zverev though, to beat him again. But I'm going to go ahead catch from Medvedev. Mm, go ahead, catch to beat Medvedev. That's always a great matchup, the catch Medvedev. And then Sitsipas FA is a really good one. I'm actually going to go FA to win because I just think Sitsipas was talking about Indian Wells and said that, you know, he's come to try and play, but he doesn't expect to win. And he just had shoulder surgery not too long ago. So I'm going to go for FA to come through that. So my semi finals are Carlos Alcaraz versus Alexander Zverev. Can't see Zverev winning that. I think Al- Al- Alcaraz will blitz him. And then her catch, Felix Auger Lissim. Really, really good matchup. Who do I pick? Who do I pick? I'm just thinking about serve, return. The aggressor's most likely going to be Felix. Her catch doesn't really have that sort of offensive game, although he has an offensive uh, style to his game, which is coming to the net. going to go Felix. So I've gone for a Carlos Alcaraz Felix Auger in final. Probably really unlikely to happen. Do I go for Carlos Alcaraz to complete the Sunshine Double in the same year? Or do I go for Felix Auger Yassim who has a 3-1 losing a 3-1 winning head-to-head against Alcaraz. Lost him last week in the straight sets but it was a close one. I'm going to go for Felix to win. This is a very left field option by the way. To win Miami and beat Carlos Alcaraz in the final. Um, I just think it's so impressive to win it back to back, the Sunshine Double, and he might do it. Sean did it last year, but uh, surely it's a slow down or just have a dip at some point. So I'm going to go Felix Orgelia seem to win the final and win Miami, um, the Miami Open, even for the ATP event. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Remember to that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you on the next video.